Hello everyone, welcome to the video tutorial of Access Press Store and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can add widgets to your sidebar that is when you create any post or page you will have an option to choose a layout that is uh, with left sidebar right sidebar with both sidebars or with no sidebar so basically when you choose a layout you wish to put some widget and some content on that sidebar to show so I'm going to be showing you how you can add those uh, widgets in that widget area like here is the demo side of access press store and I'm going to take examples of this uh, demo side in order to make you understand uh, my content so as you can see here there is about us which is a page we created <clears throat> this is the page with left sidebar as you can see and here are some of the widget you can see in the left sidebar that is a recent post and everything so I'm going to show you how you can have uh, this thing same in your website so let's log into your WordPress then go to pages and create a certain page you want and we select a layout like for here I have already created uh, for myself this about us page so I'm gonna go to edit and show you how I have done that you need to put a title then your content and just below that you will see there is a sidebar layout so you need to choose a sidebar layout for this I have chosen left sidebar then you need to publish or update it After this, let's go to wid appearance, then go to widget. Now, these are all the widget areas, and these are the widgets that we have provided. So, here in the left sidebar, we're going to put all the widgets that we have put on our demo side. That is, the first one is recent post. We have kept a recent post widget there. Let's find the recent post widget. Here it is and choose the widget area that is left sidebar and click on add widget I need to put a title then choose the number of posts to show and click on save now the next widget we have used here is recent comment categories and archive I'm gonna add all three here is archive Put the title and the next thing is recent comments click on add put the title and save it let's close it and the next thing is categories here it is and let's add now put the title again select the option which you want and save it now after this let's go to our front page and see how will that appear this is our front page and here is our about us page which I have assigned it to the menu now let's click here you can find the page content with the left sidebar and all the widgets as in our demo site so the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can put widgets in uh, your page with the right sidebar well, this is the demo site and uh, I don't think we have anything in the right sidebar so I'm going to show you from how to create a page with the right sidebar and show you the widgets to put there let's go to our backend and go to pages and click on add new now let's create a page just a sample page now let's choose this right sidebar and publish it now we need to go to widget and put widgets on the right sidebar the widgets that we have used in our demo site is Instagram feeds recent post and category so I'm gonna put one and you can put anything that you want I'm just showing you how we have done it in our demo site then recent post
and the next thing is categories now let's again now after all uh, widgets have been placed in the right sidebar we need to do is we need to add the page we created on our menu so let's go to appearance and then menu now I'm gonna add this page I have created with the right sidebar on the menu here it appeared and you save it now after it's saved let's go to our front end let's refresh it you can find there is new page on our menu let's click here Well, this is the sample page we created with the right sidebars and its widget. So in this way, we can put widgets in our right sidebar and left sidebar. But similarly, you can also put widgets in your product category or your product page. Like for example, when you create any category from the product, that is let me show you in our backend if you create any category from here that is product and you have put products and make categories and you have assigned that category to your menu then you will have a separate sidebar to set that is the shop sidebar as you can see here this is the product categories and I'm gonna click one of them you'll find this kind of sidebar here which is known as shop sidebar with all the widgets well we have used three type of widget in our shop sidebar that is WooCommerce product widget WooCommerce filter and WooCommerce product so I'm going to show you how you can do this let's go back to our WordPress uh, backend then let's, let me show you the front end first I have already added a product category in my menu that is so I'm going to add widgets to this side for this go to appearance and then click on widget here you can find shop sidebar let's add the three widgets that uh, we have used in our demo site that is WooCommerce product so this is the widget we have used particularly that is WooCommerce product and here is the description if you get confused that is display a list of your product on your site so let's choose it and choose the widget area and click on add widget now we need to put the title and the number of product to show Sorry, this is not the widget. It is uh, a list of drop down and something. Yeah, this is this one is the actual widget we have to place. We get confused because of all the same kind of widgets. So, uh, this is the widget that we need to place that is a description is list of drop-down product category so you need to put a title you need to put a order and uh, you can select the options that are provided and click on save after this let's close it now the next widget we have used is WooCommerce price filter let's find it and here it is WooCommerce price filter let's add it to shop sidebar you can put the title and click on save after this, the third widget that we have used is WooCommerce product, that is list of your product. It's always difficult for me to find the widgets here because of so many widgets, but let, let's search. Here it is. And now click on add widget and put all the description and click on save now after this let's go to our front end and see how will that appear in our website you can see here 
price filter and all the widgets that we have used in our demo site too. So in this way, you can put uh, widgets in your right sidebar, left sidebar, according to single page, post or product category. So I hope this video is helpful to you in getting this confusion clear or you can always uh, refer to our online documentation or write to me down below or uh, write to our support and we will try to help you. Thank you very much. Take care.